Hello and welcome to a new series on the Astrover Challenge called DIY Astrover hosted by myself Sagar Make and my colleague Mukul Umale. Hello everyone. The DIY Astrover web series will showcase our thought process in designing and manufacturing a human powered rover as per the rule book of the 2019 Astrover Challenge. You must think the reason behind doing this. Since this is our first ever challenge in India, we wanted to help clarify various rules governing this challenge and at the same time provide novices in the student challenge arena with tools and resources that will help them build their first ever human powered rover. Over the next few weeks, we will highlight our thought processes, design goals, implementation process, assumptions, challenges and obstacles faced in putting together this project. We we'll look forward to having you join us on the rest of our journey. For those new to the competition, the Astro World Challenge is an engineering design competition which challenges students to conceive, design, fabricate, develop and compete with human-powered non-motorized vehicle which can traverse a simulated surface on another planet. Teams take on the assumption that the Bharat Space Research Unit has determined that understanding the composition of hypothetical planet Ari will be beneficial in future research studies. As part of the mission, teams will have to traverse to the landforms of planet Ari using human powered vehicle built by the team. Teams will assume to have been provided a hypothetical oxygen tank which will last for a maximum time frame of 7 minutes within which they have to traverse through the obstacles and complete the given tasks. Over the course of the competition, a jury of experts judge the design of all vehicles to determine the best team and vehicle. In addition, the team's on-track performance score will demonstrate how well they hold under the real-life conditions. The Astrover Challenge is governed by a set of rules for which you should download the latest version of rules which is available on our website www.astroverchallenge.com slash rules. The link can be found in the description below. In this web series, we will focus on part B that is technical requirements. First and most importantly, the vehicle must be human powered. Energy storage devices such as springs, flywheels and batteries are not allowed. Springs, however, are permitted to be used such that their stored energy does not participate in propulsion of the vehicle. For example, suspension springs are allowed. As per the rules, the vehicle must be collapsible. In the collapsed state, it should be fit within a cubical volume of 1.5 meter on each side. When fully assembled, the width must be no wider than 1.5 meter as measured from outside of the wheel to the outside of the wheel on the opposite side. There are no constraints for height and length of the assembled vehicle. However, a vehicle considered at serious risk of tipping over on the course may be considered unsafe and may be not allowed to compete. All parts of the vehicle with which the drivers have normal contact must be designed such that their lowest surface must be at least 38 cm above the ground. Also, the vehicle must be designed to provide one or more designated areas for task materials such as instrument panel, team flag, task tools and collecting samples, storage containers and photographic device. As the course obstacles involved in the Astrova challenge involve deep ravines and craters, steep slopes and bouldering rocks, it is important that the vehicle design can traverse these landforms. The vehicle must be capable of traversing hills up to 1.5 meter high and pathways inclined up to 30 degree in the direction of travel and transfers to the direction of travel. Hence, the design of wheels and tires are very crucial. The vehicle must be also able to stop on steep slopes. A 4.6 meter turning radius or less is also necessary. The rules also specify other important safety elements such as removal of any sharp edges or protrusions, requirement of seat restraints and also additions of scatter shields and guards for exposed rotating final drivetrain parts such as chains and belts. The rule book in actual 
unknown challenge allows for creativity in design. There are very few restrictions, majority of which are safety related. There are no restrictions on the material you use to build the chassis, the number of tires on the vehicle, the direction and position of the seat, the types of suspension system you can use and so much more. As we go along the web series, we will provide an insight into many do's and don'ts we have learned while designing our own human powered role. The purpose is not to provide ready-made solution but to provide a resource into ch challenges and obstacles you will face while designing your own rover.